What is up, Trainters? Ludo here, back with another fabulous episode of Pokemon Go. And once again, we're down here at the fort. I finally, finally got an Encada task last night. It was at Esther Shore Park on the way home, so we picked that up. And today we're gonna do our five bug types so we can finally get that registered in the decks. It has been two weeks since I've been able to find any stock that has that. So I'm very excited to get this plain and simple bug but it's a registration in the deck, so that's what matters. Aside from that, some crazy new news has dropped in Pokemon Go. Gen 4 evolutions, not all, but a large sum of them are available now in Pokemon Go with the Sinnoh Stone. It was discovered in the APK mine of the latest update, and that is now obtainable in Research Breakthrough, so you can get for your seven-day Research Breakthrough not your seven day stop, your breakthrough. You can get a Sinnoh Stone and you can choose uh, which one of the 11 uh, Pokemon that originally required an item in the main series games to evolve. Use the Sinnoh Stone and you can get their Gen 4 evolutions. So super exciting. Uh, we also got a new event for eggs. So some of those Gen 4 evolution possibilities, pre-evolutions are available in 2K eggs. No distance shortage and no like increased candies or stardust or anything for hatches, just uh, uh, new Pokemon and eggs. Don't know why that needed to be announced with its own thing and its own event, but hey, it means that they're getting ready for more Gen 4 stuff coming into the game. The only other exciting thing they added with that was now you can hatch a shiny Elekid. And that has a Gen 4 evolution as well, so that's kind of exciting. You know, they added another shiny and it's hatchable, so that's always exciting when you hatch a shiny because those are very uh, high odds or low odds, whatever you call it. But anyways, that's about it for the news. Let's get on with the hunt. Uh, let's find those five bug types and let's get ourselves that Ninkata.
Okay, we have caught our five bug type, and we did end up actually getting another catch five uh, bug type test. So now we have two of those Nincadas to claim, so we're gonna, of course, pineapp those, get those in there so we can get the extra candy. But uh, that's about that for this, so we're gonna go and find a good spot to catch the Nincada. Let's go catch that Nincada. All right, so we're back home, and on the way home, uh, I barely even noticed we got a shiny Sunkern. Uh, was driving, so didn't really have uh, the ability to, you know, like push all the buttons and record. So uh, just pulled over really quick, got it. So we got our uh, second shiny Sunkern. Shiny Sunkern came out, if I remember correctly, along with Natu. Natu, we have seen 1300, and still no. Shiny. And now I have a second Sunkern. But either way, it's a shiny. That's exciting and that's uh, always fun to encounter. So we also got our second Nincada. So we had two of those. Uh, boyfriend also had two of those, so we decided to trade one. Uh, his went to Poo Poo, but mine went to a 91%, so I was pretty happy about that. And that's about it. Last thing, the CP and HP balance that they were going to be doing is finally out. I'm pretty sure you are well aware of that. A lot of your Pokemon probably have changed their CP and their HP. I know that a lot of mine, uh, of course, did. Uh, my Mewtwo went from 38-something uh, to 40-something, uh, so... Quite the jump there, I'm pretty excited about that one. So uh, maxed out Mewtwo is pretty dope now. We did lose all of our 420 CPs. Uh, well, not all of them, a lot of them are 777, or 666, or our 360, which is the area code. So, oh well, uh, it just kind of makes more space for new ones and uh, the, the excitement to catch new ones. But that is it, get out there, get hatching those eggs for Shiny Elekid and the gen, uh, some of the Gen 4 evolution, pre-evolutions, and stay tuned because we're gonna be doing a live stream for that where you get to decide what we use the Sinnoh Stone on. I think I do have every single one of these Pokemon available to evolve, and some of them I do have Shiny of. So, we're gonna go live and kind of hold a little live stream voting session on uh, which one I'm gonna do and evolve. So stay tuned for that. But for now, that's the end of this. Please scroll down, give me that like, maybe consider subscribing if you're not, and if you are subscribed, be sure to hit the notification button next to the subscription button so that way you're notified of the next adventure. And we'll see you then, Trainters. Stay fabulous. Bye!